creator of heaven and earth, God of love and truth, Lord, we come before you this evening with a heavy heart for the people of Manipur who have lost their dear ones, their homes, their churches, and are injured physically, mentally, and emotionally. Lord, we pray that you will speak to all the leaders of the communities that in spite of the differences in tribe, religion, and ideology, we all are humans, your children, and that we are here only for a short while. Lord, we pray that you will sow seeds of love in their life for one another and that you will restore Manipur and peace prevail. At the very outset, I on behalf of the <coughs> North Students Organization and on my own behalf would like to express our sincere gratitude to the Naga Students Federation for giving their best cooperation to the North East Students Organization when we call for the candlelight vigil for showing our solidarity and calling for peace in Manipur State. <coughs> this evening we are gathering here to show our solidarity with the sufferings of the Manipur citizens. For more than 50 days, the North East Students Organization had a meeting on 22nd June in Guwahati. The NESO have decided that we should <coughs> call for a candlelight vigil to show our solidarity to the citizens of Manipur. <coughs> we have decided to issue a press statement appealing the citizens to shun violence. At the same time, we have urged upon both the state government and the central government to immediately intervene in this situation. We are really shocked when the situation, the turmoil had been in a very volatile. The Prime Minister of India, till today, he has not given a single word. The silence maintained by the Prime Minister is really going to alienate the indigenous people of the northeastern regions. Therefore, we urge upon him to speak out. Least the government of India is having some hidden agenda. The Union Home Minister, he has visited his own eyes in the Manipur state. And more than 40,000 armed personnel are there, along with the state forces. But they could not able to stop the killing and vandalism in Manipur state. That shows that the central government is not sincere on this violence. Therefore, in our meetings, we have decided that we will go for candlelight vigil and we will visit the places. We will meet the tribal peoples and the Mete people. We will appeal them not to go with such kind of violence. So long we live in this earth 
So long they live in Manipur state, they will be living as brothers and sisters. Violence will not bring any solution to each of the community. So we will go and meet the people. We will appeal them that they should not go with such kind of violence. But we will try to find out a common platform for them to come into a dialogue. Yes, there may be some certain issues with them. But through violence, nothing can resolve. But through dialogue, everything can resolve. So taking the message of peace and unity, Dindeso have planning to visit the Manipur state. The <coughs> thousands of people have been displaced. Not only that, till today, the institution cannot normally function. And this is badly affecting the upcoming generation youth. Therefore, the NESO, in our meetings, we have decided that we will definitely go and meet the people. We will appeal even the state government to restore peace and let the I mean, the institution be functional so that the upcoming generation will attend <coughs> their education. So once again, I would like to express my gratitude to the Naga Students Federation for organizing this very special program to show the Naga people solidarity to the Manipur citizens. As mentioned by the former speakers, not only the Naga Students Federation, but even the component units of the NESO, the eight component units of the NESO, all are organizing this candle vigil light service, I mean. So I once again, thanks to each and every one of you for giving me this beautiful time. And we hope and believe and we pray that <coughs> Peace will prevail in Manipur state. Thank you. Are displaced. More than 130 souls were lost. More than 100 churches were destroyed. And more than 5,000 houses in 200 villages were already destroyed and shifted. As we unite our hearts and minds together, standing in solidarity with the people of Manipur, it is our prayer that through this symbolic candlelight program, which has been organizing in all the northeastern states under <coughs> with all the component units of NISO, we hope and pray that this solemn and humble program will bring peace and tranquility in the state of Manipur. 50, 57 days has already passed where these ethnic clashes which started on 3rd of May 2023. As we gathered here today, it is very hard and it is very painful to see the state of Manipur been burning for the last 57 days. Just a year back, we were struggling in pandemic where the entire citizen of the globe was under traumatized, was under pain. And now we are very painful to see that the entire state of Manipur is burning and which is very painful. Today, as we honorably and humbly organize this candlelight vigil program, we want to inform to the state of to the state and citizen of Manipur that Naga people and the Naga Students Federation are standing in solidarity with them. 
and we are we we condemned the actions the killings which is taking place and we have been appealing to the people to stop violence and to bring peace and tranquility in the state it is learned that the Mete community they have been demanding for the inclusion of Shidul tribe under the Constitution of India for the last 10 years. <coughs> In the recent development, it is learned that <coughs> Manipur High Court has directed the state government to push forward the issue to the central government for the inclusion. And from there, this issue has started. When all tribal students union Manipur had a solidarity walk in protest against the inclusion of Shidul tribe for the Miti communities, all these things has happened. Lots of distractions have already taken place. Many lives was were lost, not just through the barrel of the gun, not through the gun bullets, but they were, most of them were tortured and killed. And we don't want to see this happen again and again. For the last few days, we can see that no lives were lost, and for which we continue to appeal to the concerned citizen to stop, to stop that shit among themselves. We also appeal to the central government to deal in this issue with all seriousness so as to bring peace in the state of Manipur. Once again, on behalf of my team, I want to thank each and every one of you. Naga people will continue to stand in solidarity with the people of Manipur and we will continue to stand strong under the banner of NISO. May God bless NISO. May God bless Naga Students Federation for unified limb and glory of Naga people. Kognali, thank you. In solidarity for restoration of peace and cessation of violence in Manipur, not for a specific community, race, tribe, or religion, but rather to humanity. And I'm honored to share this sentimental candle light visual program organized by the Naga Students Federation under the aegis of the Nordic Students Organization with overly emotions and sympathy for the affected people of Manipur. The outbreak of the ethnic clashes has resulted in a significant loss of life with a death toll exceeding the 130. Additionally, around 800 individuals have been injured and the devastation includes the destruction of approximately 5,000 homes and 200 villages. The scale of displacement is extensive with an estimated 60,000 people 60,000 people forced to leave their respected villages, including the Imphal Valley. So to seek safety, over 10,000 individuals have resorted to air travel and sought shelter outside the state of Manipur. The severity of the situation is underscored by the fact that even the residences of some ministers and MLAs are not spared from the violence. The question now is not about who is right or who is wrong. It's what is right and the right thing is for restoration of immediate peace in Manipur and also for cessation, total cessation of violence and ache 
of vandalism in the state by any of the conflicting bodies. With all concerned, this program has been organized and I would like to thank the Naga Students Federation on behalf of the Northeast Students Organization as the coordinator for organizing this short, humble and emotional program.